my students today we are going to discuss about from chiefdoms to empire which is in the 6th standard social science term 2 lesson 3 in history part from chiefdoms to empires in the last video we have discussed some of the important points about 16 mahajanapadas and the introduction of um, mauryan empire another one the sources of mauryan empire okay now we are going to discuss about chandragupta maurya chandragupta maurya okay let us move to the topic last videos we have discussed about sources of mauryan empire and the kingdoms and kings name of the kings now especially we are going to see chandragupta maurya is a very important person in this empire why because of the first largest empire the mauryan empire was the first largest empire in india in india chandragupta maurya established the empire in mahada established the empire in mahada it is a very important point and um, bhadra bahu bhadra bahu a jain monk yeah jain monk he took chandragupta maurya to the southern india to the southern part of the india and here the special one the chandragupta performed the selakana that means jaina jaina rituals in which a person fast and to his death fast and to his death this is in saravana badagula in karnataka state now in karnataka state okay this is about the chandragupta maurya chandragupta maurya the next successor of magadha next successor of magadha bindusara 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 a real name of bindusara was simma sena simma sena this is the real name of bindusara he was the son of chandragupta he was the son of chandragupta maurya and the greekers greeks called bindusara as amitra gada amitra gada amitra gada the meaning slayer of enemies slayer of enemies here during bindusara's region mauryan empire spread over larger part a uh, large parts of the india large parts of the india and he appointed his son ashoka as a governor of ujjain as the governor of ujjain after his death bindusara uh, sorry bindusara death ashoka ascended the throne of magadha throne of magadha so now we are going to see the great emperor emperor ashoka great emperor ashoka now ashoka ashoka the great ashoka the great ashoka was the most famous of the mauryan kings mauryan kings he was known as devanam piya devanam piya he was known as devanam piya meaning beloved of the gods beloved of the gods and he was a very important king important emperor because he was captured lot of the important parts of the india so here at last ashoka fought the kalinga war in 
261 BC that means BCE BC era here he won the war and also captured the Kalinga Kalinga is a place so he won the war and captured the Kalinga here we have seen lot of the important in this war the horror of war was described by king himself in the rock edict 13 you see the chand asoka it means ashoka the wit to dam asoka ashoka the writers so that the writers here after the battle of kalinga ashoka become a buddhist ashoka become a buddhist after the battle of kalinga ashoka ashoka become a buddhist he undertook tours dharma yatras dharma yatras he undertook tours it means dharma yatras to different parts of the country interacting interacting people on policy of dhamma dhamma so the meaning of dhamma is explained in ashoka's pillar edict 2 edict number 2 okay it contains the noblest ideas of humanism forming the essence of all religions so this is he laid stress on compassion charity purity saint illness truthfulness obedience and respect for parents preceptors and elders so here you can see this important one ashoka sent his son mahinda and sangamitta sangamitta to sri lanka our neighbor country sri lanka to propagate buddhism and he also sent missionaries to west asia west asia egypt and eastern europe to spread the message of dhamma spread the message of dhamma here you can see uh, this very important points children because the ashoka appointed dhamma and mahamatas were a new cadres official created by ashoka okay why because of they need to uh, preach the buddhism next uh, their job was to spread dhamma all over the empire all over the empire moreover india fully moreover india fully and uh, ashoka held the third buddhist council at his capital padaliputra at his capital padaliputra so here you can uh, note one thing ashoka after the kalinga war ashoka was totally totally changed so he was followed the buddhism and uh, and also a yeah, dhamma dhamma is a very important one dharma that is and another one he preached buddhism all over the world so next each and every important moments he was addict her life here you can see i told you rock edicts rock edict is a very important source of chal thank you